How you doing everyone? Welcome back to All The Mods 8. In today's episode we're actually going to focus on going to the nether and getting ourselves um, some ingredients so that we can get uh, an item from Silent Gears. Last episode in in version 0. 0. 0. let's just call it 0. 0.14 for now. Um, in 0. 0.14 version, which is the previous, we're on 15 now by the way, um, they added Silent Gears. <laughs> Okay, um, they added Silent Gears, which was is, is currently in an alpha build for 119, but it's it's Silent Gear nonetheless, and Silent Gears bring us a really cool item that is kind of extremely valuable valuable as early in especially in early game, and we're gonna uh, it is called the Salvager. In fact, we're actually gonna put that across to this side over here so we don't forget. And the Salvager is actually quite tricky to make. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna need a block of iron. That's this. This stuff is kind. Oh, it's actually. This is way cheaper than all the mod seven. FYI, in all the mod seven, I think you need all the modium. I'm pretty sure in all the mod. In, yeah, in all the mod seven, you need all the modium. But as it stands, these are super cheap, and they're only crimson iron. Which? How do we make you? I mean. We don't even need to, yeah, it, even the Crimson Iron is cheap. So, in all the mods 7, you have to kind of uh, make the ingots. I can't remember what they're called, but they were, you had to use like magma cream and stuff to make a, a better version of Crimson Iron. And in this version, well, well, in all the mods 8 as it stands, the recipe is super cheap. Like, this is way cheaper. In fact, this is actually going to be easier than... I expected how many how much we only need one obsidian so we could probably make quite a few of these guys and that's exactly what we're gonna do what what have I done how did I do that okay if you press Z you get like hey okay that's new okay I'm gonna have to mess around with that there's lots of cool stuff um but yeah I, I love it when like when you play in a pack from the get-go and they start adding stuff. It's really cool. You feel like you're on a sort of development journey. And as you can know, as you as you probably noticed, um, it's almost sunrise anyway. But as you probably noticed, we got shaders on. Uh, for some reason, they've got shaders in the pack now. So you just go to video sh settings and then go to shaders. I'm using the, just the top one for now. I may or may not. I may or may not keep shaders on. We will see how it goes. But ooh. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit gloomy, isn't it? Um, but everything sort of wobbles, like the the trees wobble, I guess. Does the tree wobble? Trees wobble? No, just the plants are wobbling. Okay, me personally, I'm a fan of BSL shaders. Um, you could probably just add your own packs, but we are going to go to the Nether. In fact, I'm actually going to turn the shaders off. I'll probably just use shaders for uh, things like thumbnails and stuff, um, unless I use unless I use something like BSL. I might use BSL. We'll see. Um, it's got we've got loads of uh, we've got loads of time with this pack, like loads of time. Let's just make sure that my um, oh no, not video. We want music and sounds. Yeah, let's get that to about seventy, so it's not too loud for you guys. And yeah, we're going to the nether to go and get ourselves some crimson iron. Crimson iron is actually super duper. Have I got like, before we go, have I got like fortune three? I'm pretty sure I had fortune three. I'm not sure if I've applied it to a pickaxe yet. I mean, we actually know at least silk touch. We want to get at least silk touch, right? Let me go and have a look. See what we got. Uh, I know we got tools and that everywhere. It's all over the place in here. Aha, here we go. Uh, there's a silk touch there. Okay, this. Oh, that's got uh, like a uh, an enchantment called Tools of Unusing. Uh, becomes unstable when. Uh, unusable, not unstable. When having one durability left. Uh, so that probably prevents it breaking, so you'll never have it break on you. Efficiency 3. Have I got a fortune somewhere? I'm pretty sure i got a fortune book. Where have I put them? I put fortune somewhere. Silk touch. Fortune 3. Hmm. 
Let's let's just look at something a minute. So Crimson Dust. Can we manipulate it? It doesn't really matter anyway, because crimson iron is actually quite common. And also, uh, yeah, late game, we're not going to need it that much. <laughs> I completely failed that. And you know what? I just forgot. I'm such an idiot. Do you know what I mean? If my head was not screwed on, then uh, my head wasn't screwed on, I'd forget it. So I need that that pickaxe, uh, silk touch, perfect, and that's what we came for. And I'm going to put my food in my bag because it will automatically feed me. And there's a bee there. We don't have any casings at the moment. We will get into bees actually. Bees at some point we we will get into. Oh, they fixed those plant things. They're fixed. Okay. They had like really weird shading, like they, the textures were messed up, but they've now fixed that. That's good. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to the nether and get ourselves some crimson iron. I, I'm actually really happy that this recipe is way cheaper than all the mod 7. All the mod 7, you have to kind of get into all the modium. Uh, FYI, I've reset the nether. Yeah, I've reset the nether. Some of you might be a little bit annoyed about that. There's a lot of people in the comments at the moment, they're like very like, you know, oh, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. Um, you know, I don't like it when you do this, I don't like it when you do that. It, it's my playthrough, I, I do what I want. But, FYI, if you don't like it, that's fine. But um, I've just literally, before because they've added silent gear and that adds, adds a lot of ores into the nether and we haven't really done a lot in the nether anyway, uh, I've reset the nether. So the nether is completely reset. Um, it should technically be the same. The, like the structures should be the same and stuff. But um, yeah, FYI, I've reset this place. And the reason I've done that is solely so that all the ores regenerate. Because at the moment, because otherwise we would have to go a million miles out We'd have to go a million miles out and um, let me just turn my headset down a sec. We'd have to go a million miles out and um, yeah, just for some really basic common ores. So now technically um, we should get crimson iron spawning around our portal. And this probably isn't going to be the last of the... Uh, like resets like world resets and stuff um this pack is going to go through a lot of changes and you've got to remember that um and to be able to keep my world i'm gonna have to do this and stuff i don't really want to be going miles out for something so so easy to get hold of he says and i can't even see one but yeah like the mining dimension i'll probably be resetting that at some point um, the overworld will get like chunks cleared. Remember, like we did when we transitioned from all the mod seven to all the mod all the mods eight. What's that? Prosperity. I would like to get that at some point. Um, when we went from one pack to the other, we I literally deleted chunks outside of my little valley. Uh, we probably might even have to do that in the future, especially if they bring. Wait, is creating this now? Yes, creates in this now. So I might have to reset the chunks outside of my valley once more because create has its own ore system. But for the, when it becomes a problem, we, uh, we'll deal with it. I, I'm not very clued up with create and I'm very interested in create. It is very much my jam. I like kind of factory kind of things. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan of satisfactory and, and stuff like that those kind of games and to have that kind of th that kind of thing going on in Minecraft that's pretty cool let's just put these up there for a minute so we're looking for crimson iron and I'm guessing we're not going to get lucky what's with all these gold bars us quark doing that okay 
kind of looks a little bit meh, in my opinion. Right, so if... I thought we were going to need to go to blaze spawners and get um, bla uh, blaze rods and stuff like that. But the recipe hasn't been tweaked, which is really cool for us. What's not cool for us is the fact that I cannot find crimson iron. So, if we, if we hit the use on that, can we get, like, the world gen on it? Hmm. Just gonna have to keep an eye out for it. At the moment, there's not a lot around spawn, if I'm honest. But, yeah, all we did last time is just kind of explore... Um, nothing too me mega. We didn't actually profit that much from our nether trip. Actually, I, we did. We got netherite, but I don't even know where that is at this point. I got gold on me, which is good. Let's see if we can spot some. Some that's relatively easy to get. Oh, there's some up there and there. there it's all above our head. So we need to go higher. Let's go higher. There's lots of lots of bad guys kicking around. I don't like magma cubes. They they pack a punch. But that's fine. We're just gonna get up here real quick. This is actually sand and it's not falling. It's odd. Okay. It's very very easy to get. It's it's that stuff there. But it's a little bit tricky to get our hands on. It's all this quartz we keep tripping up on. Making us take some damage. It's nice. It's a nice little atmosphere around here. What's that? Okay, so yeah, we need to get the nether bees at some point as well. They, they play a part in breeding, which would be cool. Bees are actually quite fun. Productive bees is a good mod. I actually like it. They used to be... Um, bees in Minecraft, like for, in all sorts of mod packs over the years, like uh, Forestry. I don't know if any of you remember Forestry. Uh, they used to have bees in that, and it wasn't as good. But Productive Bees is really cool. Okay, I, I feel like we're going to need to nerd pole up. Is that Blackstone? That uh, is Blackstone. In fact, I'm just going to vein mine load. There we go. I think I need that for my house. Or a recipe. We could do with some glowstone, actually. I don't even know if we got got some before. We've got it now. And let's just use this uh, shovel real quick. And I think that's... Oh, God. It's about to go for that, then. And it's like a big hole below me. Okay, can we get to okay, go to this one? We need to get enough of this so that we can. Where are you? Where you go? Oh, I didn't silk touch it, did I? An idiot. And I think it's gone down the hole anyway. Oh damn it! We need to silk touch it. We might be able to duplicate it. Yeah, it's gone down there, isn't it? Ugh. Oof. Very oof. Oh, there's some over there. This is a key ingredient right now. Like, trust me, guys. When If you don't know what this does... Oh, my God. This is a must. So, hopefully... Oh, eight. How many do we need per go? Four. So, we could probably make two. I think that should be enough. Unless I can see any more real quick within reach, I will take it. In fact, I should have put a waypoint on my portal. Um, the portal's this way, right? Yeah, there it is. There's some blaze already aggroing. They got such a big aggro range, blaze, I'm telling you. If you're wondering why I've got extra hearts, I think it's because I've been eating random foods. Let's 
quickly make our way back. I think two will be alright just to show you guys what they're all about, if you don't already know. But these are a godsend. I'm not even joking. Especially now. If you're gonna if you're gonna craft these, craft them now. Especially early in the pack. Oh damn, it's actually quite dark. So craft them now while you can, while they're cheap, in case they um mess around with the recipes like they did in all the mod 7. In all the mod 7, it was exactly this, kind of the same deal. Um, they are definitely worth um, crafting earlier on while the pack is in development. But I'm pretty sure later on if they change the recipes and you don't like it, you can go in the configs and probably mess around with it if it's that much of a deal. Look at this place, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're doing alright. I wonder if we can... We're probably just going to crush them, right? No, you cannot. You cannot crush them. You can just... Yeah, you can't You can't crush them. So we got eight. So that means we got two. So let's go and get some other parts of the recipe going here. So we need some iron. Take, take a stack for now. Uh, take a stack of cobblestone, we need a bit of redstone as well. Where am I? Redstone. Uh, what else do we need? Wood. We've got wood somewhere. And then we can go... Uh, we can make the pistons real quick. Just want two for now. And then we want two of these. Uh, we want two of you, and then that, that should be us to go, ready to go, right? Have I got? Some, what is that? Is that not the same? Quartz. I don't know. Can we can we do anything with this before I get rid of it? Apart from yeah, we can, all we can do is make glass. Be good if we can like make. I'm just gonna cook it. Right, so let's go and get the let's go and get the iron, the crimson iron there. Nice, and then we can now craft. Should be able to craft two of these guys. Now this is where the magic happens. Let's go and get ourselves. Let's just plonk them here for now, and then we can just make it manual. For now, it's pretty cool. So. Uh, give you an example. This diamond sword. I don't need... How many diamonds do we have? Eight. We have eight diamonds, okay? So now we can just put this guy, uh, these guys in here. So whenever you raid those roguelike dungeons, if you're very low on, like, like diamonds, for example, we're really low on diamonds, we should get, like, a maximum of two diamonds back. And the amount that you get back, we practically got the whole recipe for the sword. So we got all of all the ingredients from that sword because the durability was so high. So if the durability is really high, you're, you're pretty much good to go. Um, what we got here, knockback. So this has got full durability. It's got nothing, no damage on it. So we should be able to get the same yield from this, which is pretty neat. I'm really happy about that. That's really cool. I'm glad that they're really cheap. There you go. And then, same goes for anything. Another good thing to do as well is horse armor. If you, Unless you're using them, of course, horse armor is really good to get some resources back, especially the diamond ones. Gold's good as well. Um, Chainmail doesn't seem to translate, um, which is fine. But if we, put, if we put diamond horse armor in there, we should see how much we get. I think we get leather back. Pretty sure we get leather. Look, you get six per go and a bit of leather, which is cool. It's not bad, right? So when you combine the salvager, especially now that Silent Gear is in the pack, uh, as of 0.0.14, then you're good to go. Go to the nether, get yourself some crimson stuff, and you can just raid all of those roguelikes till, till you don't want to do it anymore. And then... You're pretty good. I'm going to do the same with the gold. And obviously you can you can automate this. So let's 
let's grab some wood real quick. We can automate this. Let's make a hopper real fast. Or you can use pipes. I wonder if pipes is in this. So I I guess we just go like let's get rid of that. Map. I think there's only certain ones that I think there's only certain face sides that will or faces that will will do stuff. I think that's okay. Yeah. And then you I think you have to I can't remember where you output it, probably from the bottom. Maybe the front as well. Uh, is pipes in this? Can we pipe pipe it? Yes, we got pipes. That's cool. But I'm not going to use pipes. I'm going to use... Have we got any logistical pipes? No? We've got no logistical pipes. We could probably use... No, we, we could use a mechanism. Logistical. Logistical. Basic one would be fine. Oh, okay. Have we got any of those green things? And we need osmium for that. So, have we got any osmium kicking around? Like ingots? Yes, we've got loads. Let's just do like 16. 16. That'll do. And then we're going to convert it. I love the fact that you guys taught me this enriched iron trick. That's so good. So I appreciate that. What was that? Oh, it's pneumatic craft. You got drones in this now? Oh, I think they had drones in the last one, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, we only need one for now. And what else do we need? Steel. How do we make steel? Have we got any steel? I think we need iron dust and coal, right? Let's put you in there. Let's get rid of all that. So we've got loads of diamonds now. We've got 30 diamonds. We've made, like, what? What's that? 22 so far? That's pretty impressive. So, yeah, you can do it with armor. You can do whatever you want. Pretty much. Not all of it. It doesn't do it all. I think it's just tools and armor that it kind of converts. So... Keep all the tools and all the armor that you can. Make the biggest backpack you can and go raiding those dungeons. Trust me, you're going to profit big time from it. So we need... Yes, we got two. So that's... We've got one left. And then... We can make some logistical transporters. So I'm not even sure if it will come out from there. Let's go to items. And then, I don't know, I'm going to put a chest on top. Maybe. I'm just testing this out. I'm pretty sure some some of the sides doesn't work. Like, oh no, that does. Okay, that's, that's pretty neat. And there you go. You can automate it. I wonder if that's changed or updated because I'm pretty sure I had problems in one of my setups uh, on my Patreon server. It was giving me a, a lot of grief. In fact, that can go in there. Nice. And yeah, we can just do whatever we want. Uh, notice this one, for example. So that's what? Seven? That would get you seven. Uh, it costs seven of uh, iron to make that. So let's see how much we get back when it's got like just over half. Or three quarters durability. So how much do we get back? It'd be interesting to see. We get six. That's not actually that bad. Let's be honest. So yeah. I'm going to make another chest actually. Make this completely automated. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, so yeah. We can just salvage stuff. Which is really neat. It's really good to have. Um, I've got already got that. I don't really want this, so we should get what eight back. Uh, do we want that? No, I don't want that. Uh, do I need silk touch? I might actually need. No, we don't need silk touch. Should I get silk touch whenever? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And why not? Get rid of that. So I'm just going to put all of this in here. 
When you put enchanted stuff in here though, FYI, in case you're wondering, you I'm not going to put that in there. You do lose the enchantments. So just be careful. And now that's just going to do its stuff. I don't know, I don't think you can upgrade these, so the best way to speed this up is to make loads of them, especially now. Like I say, the, the recipe is super cheap compared to all the mod 7. Trust me on this. Um, I'm super happy that I can make this really easy. I'm glad that the, uh, look at all that. See, we're, we're just making so much profit. So combine the salvager with your loot runs in, in the roguelike dungeons, you're laughing. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, we could make this better and automate this a little bit further. If we really wanted to, we could just like hook two of the two of up. Because I'm pretty sure you could probably do the front and back. I'm, I'm actually quite happy about that. Because I'm sure I had issues on all the Mod 7. It, like, it only came out and went in certain directions and this time around it looks like it's a bit more versatile i'm really happy about that and i think i'm going to leave it here so that is the salvager trust me if you're early game or if you feel like this is going to help you out go and go and make one as of the latest version you should be able to make this at the time of this recording so yeah silent gears is back in and uh, that means we can make hammers and stuff um very curious that that would help me out in my mining dimension but Anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and this helps you out because I know it will help me out because of all the loot that you can get in this pack uh, even now. You, you're going to profit from making some salvages. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Dibs out.